we got our lettering in for the trailer, so I'll see if we can uh, take a look at what they sent us and and maybe the installation process if I can get some good shots. So this is actually coming from uh, DoItYourselfLettering.com, and I'll have to look at the exact number, but I think all these uh, these decals that I got, I believe I spent $321 after tax and shipping. So, nothing else in the box, and we've got this here. So... So all five of these are just the name of the company with a white pill outline and then the phone number in white below it. And then these three, one is for the very back of the trailer and the other two are for the V-noses. They just say lawn care, landscaping, yard cleanups, irrigation repair. So I wanted to keep the, the left and the right sides of the trailer really clean so all it has is the logo and the phone number uh, and then the very back of the trailer, the ramp that folds down, and then the two front Vino sides will have, you know, kind of what we do if. So there's a rivet. If you can see this top rivet kind of threw everything off. Which I'm just kind of hosed because of the length of this, uh, or excuse me, the the up and down. I don't know what I'm saying. It's tall enough that no matter where I put it, I'm going to hit a rivet. And I'm hoping that when I peel that off, it ends up coming up straight. But I'm going to play with it a little more, see if I can make sure and smooth everything out. So, where's the zero? This is ridiculous. Um, it's not stuck to this. Well, I don't know where the zero is. I just took a picture and emailed them. So, <laughs> this is so stupid. I cut my own out of the backing paper and it looks absolutely horrible. Um, I don't know what to do. It's on here now. So 
you can definitely see creases where I messed up. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but on this first nine, we got a couple of creases. Uh, right up and down this line, we've got some. It was a stupid rivet that messed me up. I threw everything off. It bent the paper, and I got a crease there. And then a couple of bubbles here, but they said that should go away over time. So this is what it looks like. I think I'm happy with it, but, um, I mean, aside from missing the zero, which... not even a good zero. Ugh. Oh god, my neighbors are pulling up. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about that? I guess no, it's definitely off. You can you can tell from right, way back here the zero is off. That was I think the cut of it would be okay if I would have just positioned it better, but Oh well. It <clears throat> It would be my luck that I've got two signs, and the first one I put up is the one that's missing a zero. I'm losing steam for this project, at least for today. It's extremely hot out here, so I think if I can just finish this one Vino's, I'll be done for the day. Missing that zero's making me real sad, too. Uh, the other Vino's, yeah, let me just show you real quick, has got the manufacturer logo on it. You can see that peach cargo. So I'm going to have to bring a hair dryer out, heat that up, and pull it off. And I don't feel like doing that. So I don't want to do that side. And then all the other sides are going to be tough because it's so long. I don't think I've got the energy to do that right now after fighting with that thing. So this is actually a push block or push stick for uh, woodworking. So you can slide wood into a saw without getting your fingers near it. I'm actually going to try and use it to smooth things out. Um, because when I was using my fingers, it, it just didn't work out well. It's another bubble. Um, so I'm going to try this and see if that'll help any. This paper over here, when it started binding after landscape and ruined everything. Well, I guess technically I ruined everything, but I should have just cut it then with some scissors to uh, relieve that. Ay, 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 ay. So this is what you get when you try and do it yourself. So you got this big crease across all these letters here. Nothing to do but see how it looks. Yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to save the rest of this for another day when I got more energy. Because this just kind of killed my momentum. <laughs> You can kind of see that wise a little off. You can see down here, that's those guys are pretty much toast. The company says that any signs that you mess up while you're installing, they'll send you a new one. This S didn't go on. So we'll see if that's true. I'll see what they say about the missing zero, and if they say they'll send out a new sign, I'll say we'll just wait and <clears throat> give me a few days to put them all on, and I'll see if I can need any other ones. Some of the letters didn't quite get on all the way, but that's just as simple as smushing them around. Man, that was, that was the start of the video. Aside from the crease, the this part didn't turn out too bad, this, this spot, but it was kind of 
caddy walk us. So I guess, so I guess the lesson for today is if you're going to do this, make sure you you're going to be with a company, do it with a company that um, you've got some wiggle room for mistakes. So we'll see how they how they treat this one with the zero. And then I'll, I'll tell them that, you know, I kind of hosed up this one and see if they'll send me another one. But I think, like I said, I'm just going to wait until, uh, until I install all of them so we can see what they do. And if you stay far away, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. Oh, well. When you do it yourself, there's a chance you're going to mess up, so just got to factor that in.